Okay, we're back. I hope you enjoyed that last um, video. I, I, maybe I'm just too big of a nerd, but but uh, there will be questions from from that video, like uh, maybe how many, uh, um, how many molecule, how, how many of those silicon silicon uh, atoms made up that sphere, and what was its radius? Those types of things. Um, you know, basic, simple, simple things off that. Um, and you might have a unit analysis type question, which is what we're going to talk about now. Um, so as we come here, uh, reasoning strategy, and I'll write down all the units explicitly. In other words, if you're trying to find meters per second, and, and I already attempted this video once, and I ran into an issue because, and here's the issue I ran into, was uh, for some reason, when I go to your assignment, it shows the answers. I can't get the student view. I want to be able to get the student view of the assignments, but um, I'm sure there's a way to do that. Um, anyway, so treat all units as algebraic quantities. And, and so exactly what do they mean? Well, what, let's take a look at one of your homework problems or, or kind of a more difficult of your homework problems here. I'll, I'll write it down real quick. Um, I probably should have picked this out before we started, started flipping through here. Because remember, we're going to do we're going to look at the vectors today in class and, and try and do those together. Um, uh, let's see. I gave you one. Consider the equation of v. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this thing where we've got v is equal to. Um, this is straight from your. Uh, one third z z x one third z x t squared. Well, we know that v is a is a length per time, and I know that time is just time. And I know that x is a length, and we're going to make sure that this works and see if this, how this, uh, what we need to put in for z to make this work. Z, I have no idea what the dimensions are. That's what they're asking. That's what they're asking. Okay? So I have no idea what the dimensions are, so I will do the dimension, dimensional analysis here. Okay, so I've got um, L over T. See, sometimes this is kind of tricky for me because uh, to teach because I'm like, well, we haven't uh, discussed, you know, what acceleration or velocity really is yet. I don't need to look at the third. I don't, I don't care about that. Is Z, so what's on this side has to equal what's on this side, times a length just by itself, and then times a um, T squared. Okay, so what does Z have to be for this, for these two things to equal each other? Okay, for these two things to equal each other. Well, I need an L over T on this side, and I've got an LT squared on this side. What do, it looks like I'm going to need to divide something. So Z looks like it should be 1 over T cubed. Because if I put 1 over T cubed, then I get L times T squared. Those, that cancels and just gives me L over T is equal to L over T because the T cubed divided by T, T squared divided by T cubed gives me L over T. That's one of your questions, all right? So we at least covered one. And that's kind of how unit analysis, that not kind of, that is how unit analysis is done, all right? And then the rest we're looking at a little bit of trig and we're looking at, which I'm assuming you know, it's part of, it's a prerequisite for the class, and um, we're doing, uh, sorry, <laughs> I've lost my marbles, and we are also doing, um, we'll do, we'll do trig when we're looking at vectors, because trig and vectors go hand in hand, all right, okay, and then we'll finish, we'll finish chapter one on Thursday, okay, so this is, so we are done, um, I know this one was a little bit long. That's because that video in the middle was long, but it it's not bad. You'll survive.